Well, we are just 16 days from the November election, and many Minnesotans are taking advantage of early voting. But at one polling place in Red Wing, voters are casting their ballots again and again and again. WCCO's Rachel Slavic takes us to the unique voting booth as we go Finding Minnesota. In a presidential election, politics tends to pop up in unexpected places. Well, you know who I'm going to buy? Just get that Trump cookie out. There it is. That's the man. And in Red Wing, party preference is found in freshly baked treats. We purchased a cookie for the uh, Clinton. Like the campaign's, Hannish Bakery's presidential poll features plenty of flavor. We like to say it's the sweetest vote in town. Every sugar cookie purchase puts a customer's candidate that much closer to victory. I blew two blue cookies. In this voting booth, ballot preparation is a daily task. I think we started in August. Left in the skilled hands of Joyce Rapp. I enjoy decorating cookies. Who spells out party differences in buttercream. Trump is red for the Republican Party and Clinton is blue for the Democratic Party. Joyce's biggest challenge is keeping up with demand. I can see it's going to get more difficult to keep up. No surprise considering there are no rules against ballot box stuffing. Donald Trump cookie. All right. uh, actually, I want more than just one. How many would you like? We would want six. Stuffing the, I guess you could call it the cookie box, uh, is, uh, is greatly encouraged. You know, we don't say, oh, you can only have one or one. Rigging this sweet vote hasn't had a big impact on the result. Since 1984, the cookie poll has accurately predicted nearly all presidential and gubernatorial races. The year that Jesse Ventura won, he won the cookie poll. The 2012 election was the only anomaly due to one final purchase. The last guy that we let in was a Romney supporter, and he bought whatever cookies he needed to to put him up by one cookie. Accuracy aside, at the very least, dessert is an indicator of the overall tone of the campaign. The sales of the cookies are way down because I think people are a little don't really want to let out who they're voting for. It's been a pretty ugly election. I think it's a lot of uh, jibber jabber back and forth. Yet even in the most bitter election climates, Hannish Bakery reminds us all there is a sweet side to politics. No matter how nasty they're getting on the on the political lines. This is still fun. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News. Can't go wrong with the cookie. Each cookie costs $2 and the bakery poll is open until 5 o'clock on election day. Right now the cookie count is 441 for Clinton and 362 for Trump.